All right, Game 7 of the National League Championship Series tied at 3 in the bottom of the 7th inning. This one's brought to you by Manscaped. Cody Bellinger up at the plate against Chris Martin, who opens him up outside little cutter. Now, the game before, the night before, these two faced each other, and Martin gave him a steady dose of outside pitches. A lot of outside fastball, a little outside cutter there, outside fastball. Belly missed one that he could have hit. Goes outside again, then chases. Pache made a nice catch. So now he's here again. He knows Martin's coming outside with the fastball, but he may miss some spots outside fastball. He takes one and one. Outside fastball. Takes two and one. Two and one. Outside fastball. A little cutter that time, but it gets called strike, which I don't know. I don't know if that was ever over the plate, but, you know, called a strike. So now you're 2-2. Darno says up, then he does a fake sign, and then they throw an outside fastball. I don't know what all that catcher stuff was about. Now he looks up at Belly, sees if he's checking the signs. He says, okay. Belly says, I know what you're throwing. You're throwing outside fastball again. Just hoping you miss your spot. The 2-2 pitch. Oh, he missed his spot, but Belly didn't do anything with it. Look at Darno's arm. Look at that swing. Just missed it. Had it timed up. Darno's arms out there. Who might be thinking, Belly might be thinking, damn it, that was my pitch. Not going to get another one. Goes outside with a cutter. He fights it off. 2-2 again. He misses his spot again, and this time Belly hammers it, and we get a lot of faces. Darno ain't even going to look. Martin doesn't want to look, but he's looking, and Belly's just pimping the shit out of this. Slow walking down the first baseline. Straight into this fan's glove, and he goes crazy. This is just a really fun picture. I like the people pointing at the guy who made the catch, not like at Belly who hit it. And just pointing at him like, you did it. You caught it. One of us got it. And then just four bros, a little night out at the World Series, four bros chilling. Look at this. Just a slow walk, doesn't even really watch it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Bam, forearm shiver, and then a big forearm shiver. Let's see that one again because it popped his shoulder out. I'm good. I hit Kike's shoulder a little too hard, and my shoulder popped out. I had to go back into the trainer's room, and they popped it back in so I could play defense. It kind of hurt. I'm going to use my arm. Um, Yeah, they're they're, they're celebrations. These guys are too much testosterone, too strong. He kind of avoids Jock there, gives Bruce Star a little love, goes down in the tunnel, and then you can see him just wincing in pain. Just can't be forearm shivering that much. Look at this. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Not good. Not fun. But he came back. He played in the outfield. He tells, yeah. Yeah, my shoulder. Right out of the socket. He did this last year on this play. He was diving, playing first base. He dove. His right arm popped out. He's in pain. Popped back in place. Tells the trainer, and then he tells Hosmer, yeah, 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 shoulder just popped out. But he came back in that game and got a double. So if you're a Dodger fan, don't even worry. Just go ahead, get excited, clean yourself up because you're going to the World Series. Best way to clean yourself up is by getting the Lawnmower 3.0, brought to you by Manscaped. Clean your family jewels. It's the World Series. Can't be looking gross. Got to be ready. Got to feel good, got to play good, get 20% off, plus free shipping with the code JOMBOY at manscaped.com. Click the link below. Your balls will thank you.